Today we will be talking about lines. But first, I have a story about Mr. Dot. Mr. Dot really liked being a dot, but one day he got kind of bored and he wanted to go out on an adventure. So he stretched himself out into a straight line. And then he ran into a couple of friends who were also dots. And he asked them if they wanted to come along. Of course, they said. Who wouldn't want to go on an adventure? So they started playing leapfrog right away. And by the time they were done, they were very tired and hot. They decided to swim across the lake, making a wavy line. At the other side of their lake, there was a giant mountain that curved up. And at the top of the mountain, there was a roller coaster with a looping line that went all the way down to the bottom. Now at the bottom, there was a castle. Mr. Dot and his friends explored the castle by going across, down, and over. Now by the time Mr. Dot and his friends were done exploring the castle, Mr. Dot was very tired. He decided to take the quickest way home, which was a curved line. Oops. A curved line. And then he ran through his house, making a zigzag line. Once he got through his house, he jumped into one of his many beds and went to sleep. These are broken lines. What did Mr. Dot make on his adventure? A crocodile. Was it hard to make this? No, we just needed our art lines. In every pen, pencil, marker, and brush, there is a Mr. Dot waiting to go out on an adventure with you. So now that we have talked about Mr. Dot and his adventure with lines, let's talk about some different kind of lines. Line is one of the most basic elements of art. They can define space, create an outline or pattern, and show movement or texture. Some types of lines would be horizontal lines. These are called horizontal because they go with the horizon, like the sunset. Or vertical lines, which are opposite, they go up and down, kind of like a flagpole. Next, there are looping lines, like the roller coaster that Mr. Dot and his friends went on. And then we can't forget zigzag lines. Go back and forth. It also can represent sleep by making Z's. Another line would be spirals. or curved lines, like a smiley face. And I'm making the eyes with dashed lines or broken lines, like this. Another type of line would be a diagonal line. They kind of look like they're coming or going, depending on which direction you want them to be in. If I draw an arrow here, it looks like I'm pointing up. And if I draw an arrow here, it looks like it's pointing down. Another line would be a bumpy line. How, like how Mr. Dot and his friends were playing leapfrog. 
and we can't forget a castle top line. Kind of how you make a castle, a sand castle at the beach. Lines are very simple and easy to use. You just have to use your imagination and have confidence that you can make anything you set your mind to.